Claire Lakatis, a physical therapist and strength and conditioning specialist at Omaha Physical Therapy Institute. Today we'll be discussing the importance of single limb loading in your soccer specific training and conditioning program. Soccer is a sport that promotes mostly unilateral or one-sided movements. It is unusual in soccer to observe someone jumping off of two feet and landing on two feet at the exact same time. In fact, it is rare that you ever find a soccer athlete doing the exact same thing with both sides of their body. Soccer involves running, lunging, pivoting, cutting, tackling, all of which encompass single limb loading and activity. So if most of the movements one encounters in soccer involve one of the legs balancing, while the other is pushing off or tackling or kicking, it is important to incorporate single limb exercises into training, warm up, and general conditioning. Single limb exercises not only promote strength, but more importantly involve proprioception and balance training, a major component to injury reduction. Proprioception is defined as the body's awareness of joint position. For example, even if you close your eyes, you know if your knee is bent or straight due to proprioception. When implementing single limb exercises into your workout, start with just using your body weight for load and focus on your lower extremity alignment, reinforcing safe mechanical patterns that decrease the risk for injury. One of the most common single limb exercise one can perform is forward and sideways lunging. See how the athlete is able to keep their knees from collapsing inward while maintaining their balance while switching their lead foot. A similar exercise, but without the movement forward or sideways, is the Bulgarian split squat. Another exercise is the single limb deadlift. This not only promotes hamstring and gluteal strengthening, but works on the proprioception as well. Again, start with these exercises unloaded, then progress as tolerated and prescribed by your coach or strength coach. And of course, the single limb squat is great as well, focusing on alignment of the lower extremity. Try using a chair or bench at first to work on your technique and to decrease the load on the patellofemoral joint or the kneecap compression on the femur. Always consult with a professional in the field of sports medicine when initiating an exercise program to make sure you are performing them with correct technique and are able to progress with load safety. The physical therapists at Omaha Physical Therapy Institute are consultants for many local area coaches and soccer teams. If you have any questions regarding single limb loading for your soccer training programs, please feel free to contact us at Omaha Physical Therapy Institute or visit our website at www.omahapti.com.